in our previous session we have completed the user registration logic we have inserted the data inside the database we have checked for all this condition if username and email already exist inside the database or not and if the passwords are getting matched or not and also we have seen how to move these images and inside this images folder whatever images i have entered that images will be stored here okay this i have not pasted here whatever images i have inserted inside the database that images are moved here okay we have seen this entire thing now one more logic we have to write here let me just come here i'll just open this demo project now inside this you can see now user is not logged in and inside this cart i am having some items without logging on without registering sometimes what users will do user will add the items inside the cart now no user is logged in here you can see but they are having some items but we don't know which user has added this one now if the user is getting logged in i'll come to login section now here i'm just going to write khanam password 1234 login you can see i'll be getting this message successfully logged in after that i am redirected to payment option okay directly i'm just redirected to payment option because inside this i am having some items inside the cart you can see i am having some items inside the cart so for that i am getting redirected to payment options without registering to the website some users will add the items inside the cart maybe they'll be adding inside wish list okay something like that okay now we are going to write the logic for that if the user is not logged in and if the user is having some items inside the cart then user should be redirected to payment that is nothing but checkout page and inside checkout page we have already created the condition if the user is set then we will be redirected to payment or else we will be redirected to user login okay now we are going to work on sessions now below this i'm just going to write one condition i'll just close here now here we are having this if now below this one i'm just going to write one condition i'll just write here selecting cart items okay i'm working inside user registration itself because this is the one more logic we have to add after inserting the data inside the database we have to check for this condition as well now here i'm just going to write select select cart items something like that select cart items inside that i'm just going to write the select query i'll be writing select star from select star from cart details now i'm just going to pass the condition where ip address of the cart table i'll just write here ip address if this is equal to this one whatever ip address user is having if we are having some items inside the cart and also if this ip address is getting matched whenever user is registering or login if this ip address is getting matched with the cart table then we are just fetching this rows now i'm just going to execute the query for execution i'm just going to come here i'll copy this and below this i'm going to paste result cart i'll just write a result cart and inside this i'll copy this variable and here i'm just going to paste then after that i have to count how many number of rows i got from this query okay as we have checked for this user okay the same way we have written for user and email exist or not in the same way if i am getting some result which means that the user has not logged in and the user is directly adding the items to the cart so for that we just have to count the number of rows i'll just copy this line and here i'm just going to paste using this my sql i num rows we can count the number of rows present inside the database whatever data i got from here that will be counted and that will be stored inside this variable i'll copy this variable and here i'm just going to paste now below this i'm just going to check for the condition if rows count if rows count if it is greater than 0 which means that user has not logged in and directly user is adding the items inside the cart now once i do that one i should be displaying the message i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste now instead of this passwords do not match i'll remove this i'll just write here you have items in cart you have items in your cart then after that i should be redirected to checkout page i'll remove this one i'll be writing here window dot open inside this i'm just going to pass this checkout page i'll be writing here checkout dot php and also i just want to open in the same tab so here i'll be writing self now inside checkout dot php we have already checked for the condition you can see inside checkout dot php 
if this is not set then we will be redirected to login page if this is set then we will be redirected to payment option now basically what i am doing here if the user has not logged in and if the user is adding some items inside the cart that items will be stored inside the cart but the user has not logged in but ip address of the user will be stored inside the cart table maybe after two days or three days the user is getting logged in user has not deleted any items from the cart now user is getting logged in so user will be notified you are having some items in the cart and it will be redirected to checkout.php as soon as we go to checkout.php if the user has registered then it will be redirected to payment option if the user has not registered then it will be redirected to user login.php and also here for include let me just do control b now this payment.php is not present inside this users area this payment.php is present outside okay that is in the root so here i'm just going to write two dots i'll save this so that i will be having whenever i click on this i should be getting the proper output now below this i should be getting the session variable as well i'll come here i'm just going to copy this entire session variable and here i'll be pasting that one session username and inside this i'm just going to assign this value okay whatever username we are getting logged in or registering i'll just copy this one and inside this i'm just going to paste okay this particular user will be active and that will be stored inside sessions okay sessions we have already seen why we have to use sessions and what is the use of using sessions after this inside else okay if user is not having any items and if the user is getting registered or logged in then he or she should be redirected to index page i'll paste here and here i'm just going to remove this i'll be writing here index.php i'll save this i'll refresh my project first let me just come to home page now inside home page you can see i'm having one item in the cart i'll click on register okay this for this i have not added any link let me come to login register now i'm just going to register a user let me just write here seema i'll just fast forward this one now i'll click on register you have items in the cart you can see i will be getting this message you have some items in the cart as soon as i click on okay i will be redirected to checkout page and inside that that session is not active so here i'm having user login page now once i log in here once i write logic for that and if this session is active then i will be redirected to payment page okay this is how we are going to check okay we are just checking the condition now here also we have to change the buttons instead of this welcome guest we have to display the username and also instead of this login we have to display the logout button okay everything we have to change here now whenever user is getting logged in we don't need this register here if you want to keep register you can keep if you want to remove then you can remove and also in each and every file we have to give proper file path because whenever we click on the links we should be redirected to specific file paths now i'll come to home you can see for this we have not added proper file path so everything we are going to see and we are going to give proper file paths and in each and every page we are going to check for the results okay that is the reason i added this condition whatever you want you can give it completely depends on your requirement what requirement your project needs based on that you have to write the code now we are done with this next we are going to work on login credentials that is how to access the data from the user table and how to log in to the website